Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install NiceHash on a Windows 10 PC so you can earn some cryptocurrency while your system's idling. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. So at our desktop, we're going to open up our browser, head over to Google and type in NiceHash. NiceHash.com is the official URL. So we're going to head over to that website by clicking on it. And here we are at the main screen for NiceHash Miner. Now NiceHash offers a few different things. They offer NiceHash OS, which is a dedicated operating system, uh, some mining tools and an application for your desktop. We're going to be using the desktop application for Windows 10. So we can just click on get started. Now, what, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is create a new account. We're gonna be starting with a fresh installation, so we're gonna create a new account. We'll begin by entering our email address. And next, we're gonna be putting in our password. Now, they're very specific on the type of password that you have, so it can't be hacked or less likely to be hacked. So you have to make sure that you have one lowercase character, one uppercase character. It has to be a minimum of eight characters. They also want a number in there and just some random characters like a dollar sign or a hashtag or something else. So once you've completed all that, all these will light up in green. Uh, then you can select your country. We're going to leave it as Canada. Agree to the agreement. And if you want to subscribe to their newsletter, you can select that as well. Uh, next, it's going to send you a verification email. So we can just head over to our email account. We can get the verification code and we'll be pasting it back in here. So we're going to go over to our email and now we're just going to paste in the verification code that they emailed us and click on verify. And once that's complete, you get a confirmation here in the bottom corner saying that your email is confirmed. Now you're just going to log into their system. So we're going to type in our email address that we just registered along with the password that we just created. Okay. And we'll put the password in there and then click on login. So now we're logged in, you get a welcome screen here. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is click on select services. And by default, the first three are selected. Um, you get the crypto, qual this crypto wallet, the crypto mining tool, and the crypto exchange. We're not gonna be buying any uh, hash power, so we're not leaving this selected. And we just click on start using nice hash. Okay, so it brings us back to the main screen. And now as you can see here, it says that we have no rigs yet. So we have to download the mining tool for this specific computer. So what you can do is click on the download miner link here at the bottom, or you can just go up to the top and click on the mining tab. And it'll bring you to the same window. Um, yeah, it's gonna give you a rig manager. We're just skipping the tour for now. I'm gonna walk you through right now anyways. Uh, so right here is your mining address. Now this is your crypto wallet where all your coins get deposited in once you're mining. Uh, they can be withdrawn once you read a certain limit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna download the mining tool. The first one is here is for NVIDIA. So if you have a really good gaming card made by NVIDIA, you can download a mining tool specifically for that. Otherwise, we're gonna be using this one, which is the nice hash mining tool. It can be used on a various different systems. Uh, okay, over here on the right, time, on the right hand side, uh, it's letting you know that you need to disable the real-time protection and make an exclusion for it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The reason why we're doing this is Windows is going to see most mining tools, specifically this one, as a possible threat because it's going to be using your CPU and a whole bunch of other processes, which is very suspicious to the operating system. Although NiceHash has been validated and the default mining rigs that they are associated with don't have any issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our Windows Defender. So we're gonna head over to our Windows Defender and we're gonna turn off the real-time protection as it's suggesting. So we'll just go down to the bottom right-hand corner and we're gonna open up our Windows Defender and go into Threaten Protection. And then we're gonna go here where we can manage the settings. And under here, we're gonna turn off the real-time protection, say yes to the prompt. And then we can just minimize this. And what we'll do is we'll continue with the installation. You can see that we have it turned off here. I understand and then we're going to go to the github download page so at the github download page we have the installer which is the one that we're going to choose and select you also have a zip package the installer just makes the installation much easier when it's completed you can click on the open file and we can start the installation process so click on i agree and then we're going to uncheck this 
and then click on finish because we just want to add the exclusion inside the virus protection software. So we're going to minimize all our windows. On the desktop, I'm just going to right click on it. This is the easiest way to find the path for the folder. Go to properties and then right here where it says target, this is where it's stored. So we can just highlight all of this and I'll just show you where this file is. So we can highlight and then we can copy it. We'll head over to our file explorer. Just give me a second here. Okay, we'll head over to our file explorer. In the address field, we can paste it and then hit enter. And this is all the files that are within the nice hash folder. So now we're gonna go into our virus and threat protection. And then we're gonna scroll down to exclusions and then we're gonna add or remove exclusion. We're actually gonna add one in here by clicking on the add exclusion button. And then we're gonna be adding a folder. And now we're gonna paste the same thing into the folder segment. I'll just hit enter here. And this is the same folder, nice hash miner. And then you can select folder. So now anything, you can say yes to the prompt. So now anything in this folder is gonna be excluded from the virus protection software. And we can turn it back on real-time protection say yes to the prompt, and then we can close out of all these windows. And now we can begin with our nice hash manager. Okay, so we're just gonna run it as administrator and now we're gonna launch the installation. So the first thing at the prompt is the user agreement. You can click on I accept, and then you get a second one for the third party software, which is the minor, and then click on next for English. Okay, so in at the login screen, we're just gonna click on login and type in our username and password that we just created. Okay, success, we're logged in. Now it's just gonna download the mining tools and install the last little bit and we'll be up and running. Okay, so by default, the XM rig is the one that we're installing. It is the most common one, the easiest one to use. Okay, so it's logged in, it's automatically in here. Now it's gonna restart. Now when it restarts it, it's not restarting in admin mode and I'll show you what happens with that. Uh, but we'll just take a quick look here. Uh, so here we are at the very beginning. You can click on start mining and it's gonna to wanna to do the benchmark because it wants to know the parameters that it can run the software within. Let's take a look at the options at the top. So you have devices. Now, if you have multiple cores or video cards, they'll all be listed here. Then you have the benchmark test. You can run a benchmark test at any time if you make changes to your settings. And then plugins. This is where you can add in alternate rigs and install them on your PC. So back at the dashboard, we can take a look at the view stats online. And when you click on the view stats online, it brings you back to the nice hash website. And over here, let me just close out of this window. And over here, if you had multiple PCs installed with different rigs, they'd all be listed down here as different workers. And you can start and stop them all remotely. You can also do it with the app on your phone. It's very cool because if you have multiple computers in different areas, uh, you can manage them in one spot. And you can do that through the website or through the app. And then you can see that your current balance is what's been paid and what has not been paid. It gets paid into your mining address. Under the history tab, you can also see how much your projected income is, as well as your current income. And uh, you can just see how you can tweak it and everything else. There's a lot of useful tools on the website on how to manage your software and your manage your rigs. Uh, it's just so you can get the most cryptocurrency out of it. So we're just going to head over back to the program and we're going to start mining. And like I said, it's going to do the benchmarking test first uh, before it does that. And when you switch over to the website, you can also see that. So if, if you're remotely viewing your miners, you can see exactly what they're doing as it's happening. So just jumping over back at the website, here it is. You can see that it's benchmarking as well. And there we go. So it's popped up. It's ready to start mining. And if you take a look at this, uh, like I had mentioned earlier, the miner is not running in admin mode. So you get this error here which means your hash rate will be low. You're not gonna be making the maximum amount of money that you can. So let me show you how to run it with uh, admin with admin rights. Right, let's just close out of this and then we'll pause it. Okay, and then we're just gonna close the software and it's gonna shut down the miner. Now right click on it and you wanna make sure you run as administrator. So when you run as administrator, you just say yes to the prompt. It comes back up to the same window that you had before except it's running in admin mode and that error is gonna be removed. So we'll click on the start mining button and it's gonna launch again. 
And as you can see right here, there's no error message and now we're running it with the Intel presets. So that's how you run nice hash on a Windows 10 PC. That's how you can start mining. Like I said, there's many different rigs that you can use. So you can experiment around and see what works best for your computer. Um, but that's just basically the basics. And this is how you can get started with crypto mining on your Windows 10 PC. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.